Let's take a look at Joe's Castle. Joe probably pushed the boundaries for me to think about roofing design and creativity. It seems like an, a German style, like ski facility. Um, he, he pitched it as like this 60s, 70s throwback style. Like, look at this elevation. It's got a bridge on it, a balcony, uh, these turret style roofs, rounded elements. Um, and it, it may not be perfect if you're a licensed architect looking at this and you're like, uh, well, yeah, you missed this stuff here and there. I tell the kids that all the time. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm in a favor of creativity for being picture perfect. And then if you continue going on with this career in your life, great. You can tighten things up. But for now, uh, creativity wins a day. And Joe may have taken that medal home uh, this year. So uh, let's dive into Joe's house. Um, all this, this, um, patio elements right here. Uh, he, again, he and Zach did a lot of hatching, which it adds some elements to it, just so you can see the different things. So foyer, um, large entry space, um, utility room. We, we went around and around in the space multiple times. How do we configure it? Um, so if it looks a little disjointed, it, it was, it was fixed three or four times um and that could be you know this could be some other like flex space too he's got a home office over here that's all thought out with lighting and desks and like art tables and um <clears throat> this this huge rounded area with this light you know office creative room and just just to have a student that can acknowledge that, like, yeah, I want a cool, big, creative space. Um, as an adult myself, that is <clears throat> that has been proven to be a good thing. So the stairs here, they go up. Um, I'm not sure which way is up or down. We'll figure that out in a minute. Archway, and, and just to divide this kind of passageway into the kitchen, um, we'll go look at the mudroom. Now his garage is detached, so... We'll go to the second floor is where he kind of addressed it, but it should be on the first, but that's okay. Um, <clears throat> come to the mud room. You got a powder room here. Um, there's benches and closets. This might have been like a dog wash area. I'm not sure. Sometimes on those details, we just kind of let them slide. And then um, kitchen, island, um, huge pantry, dining area. Um, pretty centered on this great room and then he wanted these like great round um areas uh walls he's got dining room he's got lights so it just it's so cool to look at um all these different lighting i don't know this cabinet lighting i can't remember all the details but it's huge windows right here and then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over to the second floor before I kind of dive into the elevation. A little bit. So um, <clears throat> again, I'm assuming that this is the um, top of the stairs, and then the land in this landing. He's got like a desk area up here, walkways, um, closets. I think I told him like a half a dozen times, like this little nook is driving me nuts. Uh, unless you put like a plant. Um, but that's it. The kids can be creative. And he went with it. And he's like, yeah, it works. And I think it actually might work and kind of break up this hallway um, and make it more interesting. So he's got this master suite. Again, these large lights centered in this like circular space. More lights here. I'm assuming that's like where the, the bed would go. Master bath. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure if he's got things turned off on different layers. Not that I see. Um, and then there's a closet right there. And then we're going to go down the hall. We got bedroom with a closet. It's like a shared bathroom. Go across the hall. Another bedroom with this, um, another turret room right here. Closet. Snuck some laundry in there with a balcony off a laundry room. That's interesting. I missed that open air walkway to the garage. Technically, this would be the second story of the garage. And then let's take a look at how this all played out. So he's got this angled wall that builds up into this turret roof. 
and this old hip style with a shed covering over the balcony on the garage and it just it really does look cool there's your laundry room balcony that he snuck in and the railing the detailing so really fun house to look at really cool and then the the roof plan take a minute to look at that really should have some dots here in these, these circles but that's minimal um, the walkway covering the garage the roof um, the rounded area in the back and then the different balcony coverings and then uh, this is this has got to be flipped he drew it and then he flipped it so he could look at it upright <clears throat> And of course, we'll acknowledge it. Yes, he did a foundation as well. So lots of colors, lots of fun to look at, lots of creativity. Mm. Pleasure to work with him on this process. And again, just like most of the other students, he, he did great in the mechanical side, SolidWorks. Um, I hope most of the students will okay putting their portfolio link into these videos. He's in robotics and has done a lot of 3D printed printing creative things. So just because these these students have these cool architecture projects, it's not the end of the line. They have so much more that they've done this year and in school in general. But um, in particular, he's heavily involved with creative aspects in our tech center. So good stuff, Joe.